it'd be really be a dollar fifty. But if you want to, you know, if you obviously need it more than I do, if you're trying to buy the full four pack for a dollar. So, yeah. um, and by the way, it's sitting here in a Walmart sack with the receipt in it. What makes you think it's on sale? Uh, I know I. Didn't. I don't get it, because I was behind a lady at Kohl's when I was trying to return some stuff, and she, evidently, she was able to get a Kohl's credit card, you know, and she had uh, three kids and a buggy, and, you know, and so she was returning something, but she had put it on her Kohl's credit card, and she had the receipt and was returning it, and the guy was like, you know, first of all, we were behind her, and my mom was like, are you in line? She's like, no, come Brenda. Mm. And we were just like, and my mom's like, and she kept going and going and going, are you in line? Yeah. You know, no, come Renee. Yeah. And, you know, and we were just like, okay, obviously she is. And she gets up there, and he's like, do you want it back on the card? And uh, she's like, no, come Renee. And it's like, on the card, yeah. you know. And she's like, no, cash. Well, yeah, I can't give you cash. You put it on your credit card. Cash. You know, and he, I think he just, he was just like, whatever, and put it back in my car, and she's like, cash. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah. why, why, why do you, you know, get cash for, uh, mm-hmm. anyway, uh, that's, that's enough. Yeah, that's, that's what I don't understand. I mean, they just act like they can't read, I mean, they can't read it, they can't speak it, or whatever else, but I mean, then how exactly do you function in society here, you know? But anyway, yeah, well, we'll, uh, probably get trouble for all that but who cares i don't care i talk about whatever i want I <laughs> sending points for us yeah yeah really yeah <laughs> i think i think uh racist sending points are the worst are the best of all yeah racist gaming sending points we should like hit them all with controllers or stuff yeah let's go play resident evil 5 and, and max out our points yeah <laughs> <laughs> that game i swear that game is hard but, I mean, it, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I think this is, like, our fourth playthrough or whatever. Jesus. You know, because you play it on regular, and then you play it through on hard, and you play it through on, um... I know, you got a sad face. You play it through on professional, and there's an achievement for that. And so we're working on going through in professional, and, like, literally, if you get hit once, you die. No. So it's like, okay, we have to stand next to each other all at all times, because, like, if he goes down and we don't have any health to spray, it's like... Resuscitate, 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 and uh, yeah. meanwhile you accidentally have your knife out and you're like stabbing <laughs> him in the in the jugular. Res- non resuscitate, you know, <laughs> it's like. But I mean, I don't know. Resuscitation, I assume, is just what a shot to the heart with adrenaline, you know. Probably, yeah. That's about what it looks like on the game, and shot to the heart, and you're to blame. You gave Chris, what's his last name? Redfield. Chris Redfield. A new game. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Adrenaline over here. <laughs> <laughs> Peels over here. Shot to the heart over here. <laughs> and Lewis is to blame. <laughs> you gave pills to Joe, Zoe. Damn it with the names. <laughs> yeah. Let Lisa's thinking up to more. <laughs> I'm just sitting here making up. You, uh, Johnson face. Corn nugget. <laughs> it was like when Homer sang that one song. He's like, "Now make all the words beer." He's like, "Beer, beer, 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 beer." He's like, "Beer over here." <laughs> now that would be a, that would be a health regenerator, I think. I guess, uh, I suppose, and everything would be like blurry. And you're like, "Who's zombie and who's not?" I don't want to know is I want to live in a world where there's pills over here everywhere. I want to live in a world where there's Molotovs over here. Oh, hell yeah. I want to be, yeah, and pipe bombs. Yeah, instead of delivering the mail, I just deliver Molotovs out the window. I'm like, no mail for you today, Molotov. <laughs> or the rest of the, or the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for people who block the mailbox, yeah. I'm like, pipe bomb over there. I got to tell you this, I got to tell you this story yesterday at the, at the garage sale to, to go back to that. Okay. <laughs> um, we're sitting there and um, our male dude's coming around and um, does he know that your wife works for the post office I doubt it no I mean we haven't ever talked to him or anything you, you know you should be like dude hey I work for the post office too well actually when I worked there I worked with him I mean I, I, I knew who he or I recognized him oh, you probably shouldn't tell him then yeah, I wouldn't go. I, 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 I ducked down. I was like, I was like, run. He was, I, you know, I, I actually scurried up a tree really quick and was like, you know. <laughs> tree what? Yeah. Who, 
pool. <laughs> I was like, I was like, um, tree lizard over here. It's <laughs> a hand spot up here. Yeah, really. I was like, fat got a tree over here. <laughs> tree falling over over here. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's what happened. The tree, the tree immediately uh, uprooted and and crushed the guy <laughs> under under the tree, and now he's dead. <laughs> Bad idea over here. <laughs> <laughs> that postman over here. <laughs> oh, wait, look, pills over here. <laughs> ammo. <laughs> Resuscitation right here. <laughs> look, there. Yeah, guns and ammo over here. Mail won't be delivered today. <laughs> <laughs> or ever again. Um, but anyway, so apparently, like he makes a, he goes up one side of our street and makes a U, and then um, comes right back to us. And well, some people were pulling up to the garage sale and, were, and pretty much stopped like right in front of the box mm-hmm. as he was coming back around. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like well, anybody that is paying attention would see this guy. Well, anyway, so yeah. so that I mean, they stop right there and, and he comes up behind them and just like me 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 on the horn. <laughs> and I was like, damn, postman ain't messing around. And then yeah. they didn't they didn't budge. They didn't notice. You know, they were uh, I guess probably you know too busy rehearsing there. Uh, no hot blast manual routine. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, then, so, you know, like half a second later, meh, 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 you know, and uh, they finally, you know, I see the guy looking at his rear view and he, and he, and he scoots forward, yeah. you know, and I was like, damn, you know, postman, postman rage. Yeah, I mean, it gets freaking old. I mean, on Saturdays, everything like Friday is mail, or it's not mail, ma- ma- Friday's mail day, but no, <laughs> <laughs> Friday is trash day. Yeah. And the place that I deliver to on Saturday. So, I mean, our rules over here in my neighborhood is you have to have the trash can out by that night that the trash day is. Monday, you know. Ours is Monday. And so, you know, I'm driving around. It's like, is it because you're rich or you're stupid or you're dumb or you're lazy or what? Get your damn trash cans in, you know. And then, like... Like on the curves, like if the if the if they're like in a circle drive, they come and they just park their truck like right. like they don't park it with the curb. They just they just go well. I'm sure nobody needs through here, yeah. and they just park it right there. So you got mailboxes here, mailboxes here, and mailboxes here, and you got a truck here, and so yeah. you're, you're like pull up, and then you're not supposed to back up, and then you back up and you run over the puppies, and then you go <laughs> and then you go around the truck. And then you gotta like kind of angle yourself so you're like in their yard and then in the mailbox and you have to open your door and get out and and then uh, then you back up and run over the children and then you go (laughs) you know you can go forward again but it's like you know bring your mailboxes in and I mean any any any, bring your mailboxes in bring your uh, trash cans in or just pull them you know a little bit of ways you know because you just gotta I I I did this I got out on Saturday. And their trash can was just right in the middle of everything. Mm-hmm. I took that trash can and I flung it in their driveway. <laughs> so when they pulled up, they'd have to yeah. get out and move it, you know. And, and yeah. you know, and I was like, trash can over there. <laughs> <laughs> Pipe bomb. Yeah, I know. It should be like, I should ha- I should put a note with like, please don't block your mailbox mm-hmm. attached to a bomb. Yeah. And then. <laughs> well, that would solve the problem. That's not a terrorist at yeah. all. Don't tell my postmaster. <laughs> yeah, don't, nobody listen to this. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, the pro- <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. Problem solved. Um, but yeah, I know um, what you mean. Like when they have like, there's like a cul de sac, you know, yeah. and then somebody just parks like straight in. Yeah, that's the most retarded thing in the world. It's like, are you are you honestly that lazy that you that you just can't and and that inconsiderate too? You know. I mean, I, I mean. Honestly, I find it harder to back up and get out of there than if I just pulled up next to the curb, you know? I mean, I had, I, I just, some, it's just people blow my mind. Oh, for show. For show. Over here. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, anyway. Uh, uh, Let's see, we want to kick it off with our uh, email? If, if you want to. Get that out of the way over here. Email over here. <laughs> Mail over here. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, be, don't beat to death over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, email. <laughs> so, email. Tell me what you think today. So, uh, a computer, read email. <laughs> Well, this is like the most organized show. This is the most unenthusiastic show. We're like, 
Yeah. We're just going through the motions at this point, you know. It's just uh, we we don't uh we don't feel the need. We're like we're like Eminem on his last album, so, eh, you know. Dude, dude, speaking about that, Kenneth, Kenneth went out and bought that. Cause yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Oh, well. No, well, I'm, say say stuff. I just wanted to tell you that we were talking about it. You know, we, me and him didn't have a uh, conversation. <laughs> say stuff. You mean you mean you and my husband talked? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> conversation over here. <laughs> well, between you know, making out, yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I gotta catch my breath. So about that Eminem thing. Uh, <laughs> fondle, fondle. <laughs> I know. And, and then what? Um, my mom said that I was trying to sell, like, underwear and all that stuff, you know, and and she kept telling people that it was uh, my husband's. Oh, why are you selling all this stuff, Kenneth? This used to be yours. And, like, people had, like, handfuls of it, and they, like, just immediately put it down. They're like, <laughs> gross over here. <laughs> you never seen the Purell come out so fast. <laughs> but... Yeah, Eminem's latest album, I mean, Kenneth went out and bought it, and I was like, all right, you know, I guess I can let you have that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you want for your allowance? <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, I can't stop you. But, I mean, we're listening to the car, and it was like, uh, I was like, really? I didn't really need to know all this stuff <laughs> about you, and, you know, and and your mom put pills and pills and your mashed potatoes over here and you know i was like mm, this isn't very good <laughs> there was like one song i halfway liked but you know i was like well that's kind of catchy well that's pretty violent no <laughs> that's about rape <laughs> you know <laughs> track <laughs> track four seven eight eleven <laughs> 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 Violence one two three four five nine. <laughs> yeah, no, I downloaded it. No, I think I listened to it once, and yeah, I think there was maybe one, maybe two songs where I was like, I could listen to that one more time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, iTunes one more time, and then let it combust. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm glad I, uh, you know, thank you, the Pirate Bay, for uh, from <laughs> from not making this a a regretted decision here. <laughs> Even though even, even at free, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of feeling some buyer's remorse there. Um, <laughs> I know. I just I would rather listen to like our our podcast than, than <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> I would rather listen to somebody else's podcast. No, I swear. I, mean, I was I keep thinking about. it. I was just like I try and listen to the podcast, but like I just can't drag myself to like click on it. You know, I'm like ours. No, no, other people's. Oh, okay. I can listen to ours. Like I went back and listened to. Uh, episode 61 or something like that about i forgot what it was about but it was something i wanted to hear oh yeah the one where we were like yeah because <laughs> yeah. uh because my friend posted a comment about that about that picture of the guy putting the glasses back on and with the yeah. swine flu and all that so uh i wanted to listen to that again it was pretty good yeah i, I actually i don't know if you listened to the last show i did by myself but um i did not could never pull it up on itunes that's weird. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, because I, I was able to download it myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you were. It's on your computer. I, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Yeah. But um, I was talking about new uh, different shows I've been trying to listen to. So. Because oh. Oh. I try to listen to stuff, but there's just so much I can I can listen. You know, like you know, so much I can stand. You know, not that not that it's bad stuff, but just like it's just you know it's like so many times I can hear, you know, oh, uh, you know. EA announced this, or Nintendo announced this, and it's like, I, I know, I, I read it, I heard it here, I heard it here, I heard it here, I got it. You know, that's why I don't like doing really, like, newsy news stuff on our show. Yeah, that's why I like our show, because it's like, <laughs> shit, I don't know yeah. what you're going to hear, you know? <laughs> I have no game plan whatsoever when I turn that record button on, you know? I'm just like, you know what, you're here, I'm here. Yeah. We're high and <laughs> as a kite. <laughs> We're high, drunk, <laughs> and being raped. No, it's like listen to Eminem. That's why I come here. <laughs> and, and we're playing Left 4 Dead right now. <laughs> That's what I call multicasting. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I live in the ghetto. <laughs> in the ghetto. In the ghetto. So, but yeah, um, I don't know what I was gonna say. Damn, I had something. But anyway, really? Oh, hey, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Gemini's got some more stand up. I thought we had an email. 
Well, you know what? Stand up comes up first. Because <laughs> okay. before we li- li- before we lose our audience in about fifteen <laughs> minutes, we need to get your stand up out of the way, or or we'll lose them right after your stand up. Yeah, obviously, yeah. If you made it this far, then you know you're obviously a glutton for something. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're like, oh, this is a pretty good show so far. Oh, stand up! Oh, yeah. delete, delete, delete. <laughs> Hit the stop. What? How do I stop this goddamn iPod? I got snap in half. <laughs> not- it's not worth it. I'll buy a new one. I thought it was over. I thought they d- determined that was a bad idea. <laughs> really, the only thing I have is... And and I, here's an idea, too, though. Like, maybe we could start trying to do this maybe ever, ever so uh, often was, like, give me a topic. Yeah. Like, and then see, see what I can do. I'll do it now. Okay, we can try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going to be awesome over here. All right. Um, let's see what I can do. All right, go. Uh, E3. Um, E3, alright, so ha- who all was excited for E3 this coming up this week, everybody? Oh, yeah, we are! <laughs> alright, well, yeah, so so why do they call it E3? Why is there three E's? Why don't they just call it E? And that sound like, <laughs> and that, that, you know, doesn't that sound more fun? Anyway, I'd much rather go to a place called, hey, hey, where are you going, to, where are you going next week? I'm going to E! <laughs> um, you know, or is it like, maybe like, is it least speak? Like, is there actually four E's, you know, like E, 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 and then the backwards E, you know, the three is the E, kind of, uh, yeah, um, I get it. so maybe is it, is it really technically four E, or maybe is it like, or maybe, maybe is it, uh, <laughs> maybe is the E really the three, so maybe is it three E, maybe you're taking some X, some ecstasy. Maybe. Maybe everything rhymes over here. XD over here. So, um, we have this E3 thing. What do you think about them booth babes, everybody? Yeah. Woo. I, like, I like women. Woo. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's all you need. That's 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 what you need to do is uh, a bunch of sweaty, hairy gamers in, in, the, in the next convention center with a bunch of uh, chicks that are paid to be there. Might as well be a uh, whorehouse. <laughs> yeah, I like four yeah. Might as well, might as well, uh, might as well trap a rabid monkey in the same cage with a with a with a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> might as well have been my date last Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, so, um, yeah, so we're gonna get some big announcements from all the from from Microsoft and uh, Sony about motion control. So, what do you think about this motion control thing coming up? You know gestures and everything else making you know uh gameplay you know i've been i've been doing that for years in my racing games you know giving people the finger uh left and right <laughs> yeah so uh i don't like that idea uh <laughs> yeah um <laughs> say something funny <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying I'm, I'm dying here um so how many times uh how many E's is that again? Wow, that's a lot of E's for E3. Why don't they just call it... Wrap it up! Why don't they just call it Triple E? Uh, uh. Triple word score. Okay, thanks, you've been great. Yeah, <laughs> woo! <laughs> that was so off the cuff. It was, actually. I, most of that was made up. <laughs> <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> the rest of it I, the rest of it I got from Carlos Mencia. Yeah, I know. Dude, I saw that South Park. Where, I did too. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, I was like, that's what Jim and I was talking about. Of course, I already knew that, but he was like, that's the stupidest joke in the world, though. It's like, do you like fish sticks? Yeah. you like fish sticks in your mouth? What are you, a gay fish? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I saw that too, and I was like, oh, look at that Kanye West is an idiot. <laughs> I know, he's like, I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, I'm a voice of a generation. I know, I hate that, I hate Kanye. Yeah. Me too. Well, anyway, uh, now that we've lost everybody, you want to <laughs> read the email? <laughs> well, let's go back and really talk about E3, though, in like a serious tone. But no, That wasn't... That was that was our E three coverage for this for this year. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna. What is the deal with E <laughs> three? It's got so many E's in it. I just don't understand. What is it? A rave? It's got so many, so much E. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, send us over. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn brain. Save it for the next show. I I know. I always talk to you, and I'm like, save it for the show. I you know he call he calls and it's like, hey, I need to talk to you. Save it for the show. But my goal. Fish tied. I don't care. You would leave it for the show. But I have a tumor. No, you just save it for the show. That's good content. <laughs> well, we we'll, we'll use the tumor as pot art. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, really. I was thinking about Roy's boil the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's not depressing. <laughs> I was thinking how he posted on Facebook. <laughs> it was funny. When I read, when I read Krusty Dad dust bags, uh, <laughs> you were gonna say something else. <laughs> When I read uh, on Twitter, Krusty does bags <laughs> tweets. It makes me think of boils. Like the one on his brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no punctuation or Greg spilling ever. I okay. I know you have you have one thing to type E three and you type it three E. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> so, um, everybody. Uh, <laughs> okay, we got another email from, uh, Sammy, and, um, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but stick with it. <laughs> Come on! If you can make it through stand-up, you can make it through this. Hey. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> there are my feelings. Ah, my pride. <laughs> it's deep down there. Okay, I just, I was just thinking about stuff. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my email. I really appreciate... <laughs> I really appreciate both of you for including me in the show. In the infamous episode, which I think she's the only one that listened to that. When uh, I have confirmation on one other listener. Oh, uh, Night Slayer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make that too then. Holy crap! I know. I know. Oh, Dad. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> three. <laughs> um... <laughs> Hey, three more than I expected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even listen to it. Um, <laughs> in the infamous, 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 or? In- infamous, because the, the new game that came you out, know, infamous. I swear, I saw that commercial on TV, and I was like, oh, Craig Dunn, too. Because it was just, like, exactly like it. And it was, I even thought I saw the black guy there for a minute, you know, and I was like, hey. Well, it's because your TV is miscalibrated. You seem, <laughs> I remember everybody's like, um, but, uh. <laughs> but anyway, if you listen to my show, you know that I, I said something about that. Did you get that game? <laughs> no, I just oh. played the demo. Okay. Well, anyway, um, in the infamous episode when Lone, when Lone Gemini Ace podcast, <laughs> how sad, I would have to say that they are a lot of podcasts out there, but what you would have to think about is the listener you're trying to get is your podcast leaning more on adult gamers young gamers gamers actually the gamers in general or just people that like funny yet interesting shows like yours oh thanks a lot (laughs) i don't mind that the show being humble and not saying we are so awesome and all we but you are awesome and you should tell the world so don't get down on yourself hey we're awesome thanks Tear. Tears over here. Uh, <laughs> Kleenex over here. <laughs> Snotty nose over here. <laughs> I have been listening to your old podcast, AC Friends, and it's great. Here are some topics that I had thought up while listening to it. When you have people that have more money than time and people who have more time than money... Pay your neighbor to trim that tree in the front yard so you can see your window or do it yourself. <laughs> I all <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a kernel of thought for you guys to think of. And, um, I also have thought of maybe a fun game on how many words you can make with the uncanny gamers. Or is that gamers? Uh, the uncanny gamers. So, you know, it's kind of like a word scramble. What all words can you make from the Uncanny Gamers? Um, I can make I can make Uncanny. I can make Gamers. I can make The. <laughs> I can make Un. Uh, <laughs> uh, each word you make could be worth, we'll just say, like three Uncanny Sinning points. So, um, you know, send us in your emails and thoughts and stuff on that, and we'll send the email back with sending points. Um, she does get points for this email. I just haven't determined how many. I'm thinking, like, a hundred. No, I was going to say, like, ten. I don't know what the... Oh. I don't I don't know. I mean, I don't know if, like, is it... I don't know if we're... If it's, like, Microsoft points where, like, um, <clears throat> a lot equals a little. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> Or if it's, like... Uh, gamer score and well, a little equals uh, a little, I guess you'd say. Based on 
Based on how we used to just throw them out, like, AC friends, yeah, I just figured it would probably be kind of the same. Good point, Phoenix. Good point. So, 100 points to you, Sammy. And, you know, um, you know, 50 points to anybody else that emails us uh, and stuff. Oh, and I also want to talk about Hacker, because he did send us an email, and I don't think we mentioned it last show. But he sent in, and he actually had <clears throat> real gaming sinning points and he even sent us a video of it so um you can go and look him up on uh youtube and i forgot the name of it yeah i think i favorited it on my youtube but um yeah i don't remember what the the um username is off the top of my head but um yeah he basically did some like actual in game sinning like in mario kart uh, on the wii like um because he, you know, hacks stuff and then gives himself special powers in the game and different stuff like that. But, I mean, he plays with other people that do the same thing, I believe. So, I mean, it's not like he's out there uh, griefing people, but it's still funny to watch, you know, because, you know, people are trying to legitimately race or what. Well, not not legitimately, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, you don't want to get in a game and lose all the time, you know. Yeah, that, that's no fun, but, I mean, it just they obviously mess around with each other, um, you know, and do, and do stuff in the game that, that uh, isn't normal. Yeah, so he gets um, 200 sending points because he sent in a video too. And he sent multiple videos. And, uh. Well, give him like 500 then. Oh, well, whatever. I mean, if they're not worth anything, give him 1,000. No, just, just five. <laughs> just 750. Yeah. All right, 750 points to Hacker because he's to awesome and to sexies. Mmm, Hacker. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen him. All the pictures he sends me are, um,. Like, hack pictures of, like, Hugh Jackman, uh, Matthew McConaughey, and Arnold Schwarzenegger all melded together. And, I mean, you know, you can't turn that down. Well, unless you're Fabio. Oh, <laughs> Fabio. <laughs> so, anyway, so, uh, what's next on the agenda there, Lady Godiva, or Lady Gaga? What? What, what is that? Lady Gaga. Uh, what was that song? I don't remember now. I don't think I've ever heard her, but I know the name. Anyway, um, so anyway, what have you been playing? Um, actually, let's tell me about Wolverine because you finished it, right? Yes. And you saw the movie. Cha ching. <gasps> Cha ching. Hugh Jackman double for the win. Achievement unlocked. So tell me about Wolverine. Well, I'll tell you one thing right off the bat. That. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you one thing right off the bat. Pause. <laughs> Claws over here. Um, that if you go in and you play through the game on normal, and you there's several achievements where like you have to find all the dog tags and find all the mutant gins. I don't think there's an achievement for that, but you know it helps. And um, <clears throat> you know do certain things, and you have to get so many kills where you can't get those all through one playthrough so you have to go back and choose chapter select and play through those levels like that to keep your scores if you go back through and you try and play another game say you started on hard difficulty everything resets which i don't think is very fair or very cool at all that's the only thing that i really didn't like about that game yeah because you would think that i mean because i know a lot of games they let you take your stats and all your stuff into your next playthrough, you know. Yeah. Um, so I'm not really, sh- yeah, I don't really know why they did that unless it's just because that would mean that makes it easier to play through on hard if you have all your stats yeah. like that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really understand it, but I mean the the cutscenes are really good. The battles are good. It's it's a hack and slash, but it's not a boring hack and slash. I mean, it's like. You have enough moves where you're constantly can't able to change it up and stuff. Like, you can literally walk up to somebody and hold them up in the air and then turn their own shotgun on them. And then you do that so many times you blow their brains out. I mean, a very, very gory graphic game, which I hadn't played like that in a while, you know. And it was cool because it's the way it's supposed to be because Wolverine's such a badass, you know. It's like, I got claws. You're going to be mangled, you know. And, but the, uh... <coughs> <clears throat> the cutscenes are really good. It didn't really follow the movie very much. Uh, there's a few parts, you know, like the blob and bub and uh, things like that. But uh, it the only thing that, that kind of bothered me was it flashed back and forth. Like it would flash to the present, and then it would be three years 
earlier, and then back and forth and back and forth. So you're like, oh, getting some of the meat of the story, and then none. But you know that was that was all right. It almost reminded me a loss. I was like, ah, I can't. Oh no, you know, <laughs> where's the hatch? But it's weird because you found a hatch in the game. Are there numbers on it? I don't know. I scratched them in with my claws. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm like four, twenty eight, fifty two. You know? <laughs> You're just playing tic tac toe on it, you know. <laughs> all alone. But um, there were some good little Easter eggs in there. Um. The ending is what's really good. I don't know if it's setting it up for a... Because they had the ending that was like the movie. And they had a completely different ending for the future. So, I don't know if it's setting it up for the next movie. Or if it's setting it up for Ultimate Alliance 2. Or what. But it was really cool. You'll have to either watch it or play through it and see it. Cool. Yeah, I wanna. I definitely would like to play through it to get some of the, all this, the story. Um, action because there's a lot of stuff that you were like you text me something like well so and so is so and so's mom and no and so is this and and um, what, did, what who is what's her name and what's her face and how many uh, mutants does it take to screw in a light bulb and stuff? <laughs> well, there was one part because I mean I don't know very many teleporting mutants and there was this little girl that you had to save and she teleported and it's like oh Mr. Logan I can't teleport both of us you'll have to fight your way through the masses. You know, and all that stuff, and... Conveniently. Yeah, I know, and I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know who that was. And then it was, like, uh, Wraith, and then Mystique. Mystique's in the game. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay. And so Mystique was in there, and he was like, you need to be careful. Uh, that's my, that's my child. You got inside of you, you know, and she's, like, super skinny, you know, and I'm like, he's like, what do you think about the name Kurt? I'm like, how do you even know it's a boy? I mean, you can't even, she's not even pregnant, you know? But, I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> Isn't that weird, though? I mean, I don't know. Uh, what, what is she called? A shapeshifter yeah. being pregnant? What if she shapeshifts him to a man? I don't know. Uh, it's weird. I don't know it is weird. But anyway, I was like, I was like, well, I guess that explains his teleportation or whatever and being blue, but. Yeah, pretty much, you know, which because we knew Mystique was Nightcrawler's mom for yeah. a long time, but we didn't know that Wraith was the old daddy-o, which, a spoiler, I guess, if you don't know that, which I didn't know that, and I don't know I don't know if it's appeared in the comic books or if it's something, I, 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 I assume it would be made a bigger deal of it if it was, like, a big reveal yeah. in the in the game, so I'm assuming it's been revealed in, you know, before, mm -hmm. so, you know, which makes sense, you know, but, <clears throat> I don't know. Me neither. I don't know. I, you know, but I was like, oh, that's interesting. Because uh, what I remember in the comic books is, like, she was running away from somebody, and then she had the baby, and then, like, because they saw the baby was, uh, you know, like a monster or whatever, you know, so she ran, and, like, they both fell over the waterfall, and then they thought he was dead and stuff, so. Yeah. But they never, nobody ever dies going over a waterfall. I'm, I'm pretty confident <laughs> that if I ever jumped off a waterfall, I'd be fine. Yeah, <laughs> you'd be more than fine. You'd be better than when you left, you know. Yeah actually gain some type of superpower, you know, from hitting my head on a rock or something. <laughs> You're like, oh, now I'm in outer space, and these gamma rays are making me into Mr. Fantastic. Jagged rocks? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, now I have the ability to teleport, and I smell like gasoline. <laughs> no, I smell like an Irish spring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm perpetually clean. <laughs> Jagged rocks over here. <laughs> <laughs> Severed limbs over here. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I've been playing Wolverine. I kind of gave that a break because <clears throat> I was missing, like, ten of the dog tags. So I've ran out of lists, and I'm going to go through and search for the dog tags on the different levels. And then there's one achievement for you you fight the blob in the grocery store, and you have to destroy every single thing in the grocery store. And I thought that I had, but I guess maybe I forgot one thing. So I didn't get that achievement. i got to go back and do it again. And then, um... Just getting so many kills and stuff. I don't know. I'll try to get a thousand for it, but it's kind of hard. I like it though. It's fun to play. And then um, we've been playing a little bit of Left 4 Dead, a lot of Resident Evil, trying to maximize all of our guns, beat it on professional mode, which is super hard. One shot kill kills you. And um, you know what else? Oh, getting all the guns, and you have to go through every level. And get an A, and then go through every level and get an S, which is like, I guess, above an A, satisfactory. Yeah. And then 
then you can collect all the figurines, and then that's an achievement, and then it's like, you know, it's like so much work for these achievements, but it's a good time. It's a really good co-op game for us both. And then, what else did we get? <clears throat> oh, and I got Fallout 3 in, which I still see people in my friends is playing, and I heard it's really good. So, I got that in from Gamefly, but I haven't gotten to crack it open yet. Yeah, I think, uh, well, you never got, uh, you never started Oblivion, did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, I did, I just started for a little while, but I was in this race, and I was trying to find this key before everybody else, and it was just, uh, it just got to be ridiculous, so. Anyway, it's by the same people, so I didn't know if that would give you any indication, but, um, you know, it's supposed to be, like, really huge, sprawling. It's supposed to be pretty cool, and, and you'll have to let me know when you play it like that. They have some, like, a targeting system where, like, you can target different parts of the body, you know, like, basically. Oh, really? You know, it's supposed to be pretty cool. Um, yeah. I just, I, I, I couldn't get it, wouldn't even try to attempt to get into one of those games just because it sounds, I mean, it's obviously, like, you know, yeah. a 50-hour game or something, and it's just like... Um, no, I'm already over here, like, this eight-hour game is giving me hell, so no. <laughs> well, um, I read in, like, OXM, OXM, that, um, it had the ten most soul-crushing achievements, you know? And, like, there was this one achievement where you had to level up, I want to say it was Circle of, Kingdom Under Fire, Circle of Doom, that game that I had, which was just, like, insane. And, you know, it's, like, level up every character to the max. I mean, you have to play through that game, and each character is like, you know, I want to say like 50 hours or something like that to max them up. And they have like, I don't know, like 10 or 12 characters or something. So technically, you're looking at 750 to 1,000 hours on that game for like 30 points. And, and they broke it down, it was like point three gamer score an hour or something, you know, and it was just like, oh my god, you know. The, but the... uh the, the prestige and having that thing, like, being like, I mean, because you know, I'm sure, because I, I know there are achievements out there that, like, have never been unlocked, like, you know, like, there there have to be some, and I know I've read a thing about it before, you know, and then if you're the one person or the, the handful of people that has this one achievement, I mean, you know, obviously it shows that you have no life and desperately need a, a girlfriend, but, um, <laughs> you know... Right there, definition of prestige. <laughs> I need a life and a girlfriend. Yeah. Pretty much, you know, I mean, obviously the, the money will rain from the sky once you unlock that achievement, but yeah. but that being said, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just more or less just a an EP kind of type of deal where you can feel like, yeah, I did that, and then people will look at you, and, and it's a double-edged sword, because you'll be like, well, I, you know, that's cool, I see, you know, you're like the one person that did that, but then at the same time, it's like, wow, you know? Yeah, you, you did it, you know? It's like, I, I guess... I guess if you had the game for, like, two or three years, and maybe you played it, like, two or three hours a week, you know, and then you got it, you know, but, I mean, some people unlock it, like, you know, the first week of the game, they're like, oh, I don't know where I got all this time from, but I beat it all. It's like that one achievement in Zuma where you beat a level under ten seconds. Oh, I tried so hard to get that achievement over and over and over and over and over, and it was just, like, really like a handful of people that got it you know i'm like oh i want it so bad yeah. and that one there's just a luck one where it's just like you, it, it, it pops up you you just hit a rant you're not even thinking about it. you hit a button you know you shoot one thing and it does and it just magically does it there's i don't think there's a skill involved in, in achievements like that yeah i don't think so either but i wanted it bad oh it'd been awesome i mean well yeah i know there's there's so many achievements that i'll never have and i don't even worry about it anymore like you know i, I used to actively like and sometimes I still do actively kind of seek out ones that I know I can grab in any way. But, like, if there's the one where it's, like, kill, like, like the stupid, like, seriously 2.0 oh, no, thing in Gears. That soul-crushing one. Yeah, it's like, I'm just not, I mean, you know, I see the thing pop up, you know, every, every once in a while I'll be like, oh, I'm up to 2,000 kills out of, what is it, a million or, or you know, it's like, I, yeah, that, that's nowhere even near close. I would have to play this game every day for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm to get there, you know. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people do, but, you know, I mean, I think achievements are fun, and they're something to strive for, and they expand the gameplay, but then again, it's like, I don't want to play a game that's not fun anymore, you know, it's like, oh, hack and slash, I've got to get my character up to 50, you know, oh, you know, I mean, people die from that thing. Yeah. No, that's for sure, people don't, they stop eating and all that kind of stuff you hear about, it, you don't really hear about it over, over here, but like in Asia, people, you know, sit in like internet cafes for like six days and then end up dying because all they drank was coffee. <laughs> 
<laughs> For reals. I know. I, I, I know I heard about it, but I think it's funny because it's like, really? Yeah, you know, that's yeah. all you got to do? Yeah. But. And by the way, when did you poop? <laughs> oh, I didn't. Coffee, coffee's uh, not, wait. Yeah, co- uh, coffee, oh, co- well, I mean, coffee will put it right through you. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, um, is that... That's what? all the games that I had been um, playing in so far. I mean, yeah. Hadn't played a lot, and when we do play, we've been playing a lot of Resident Evil, so... Yeah, I've been trying, every when I've had a chance to steal a minute or two, I've been playing some uh, Left 4 Dead, you know, I work my way through like a, a mission or whatever on the one of the campaigns. Yeah. I finished off like the first campaign all the way through, you know, and got through there. Um, what I really want to try, I don't know, whenever we have time, is to try that versus mode me and Kenneth were talking about yesterday, where like... You know, you can be an infected person. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do that when we get done recording this. Babies. I didn't bring my gamer t- thing. I forgot. That's okay. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, I can't get no Chivo for it, but, you know, I mean, it's not the I point of the, really, it's not the point of the game. I don't really think you get a lot of Chivos. And, well, yeah, you get some for doing that. But, I mean, you can go home and then we can jump into it again, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, it was later on tonight or sometime. And we can work on your Chivos. That's cool. I mean, it's not a big deal, but yeah, it's something I want to. We'll get to it, you know. Um, yeah, and playing that, I think I, I plugged up some rock band like back on like uh, Monday or something. I think um, when I was when I was home on Memorial Day, and I was like, I want to buy me some rock band, so I got in there and uh, cranked out some. What I discovered on rock band, and I know this makes me stupid, but. Uh, <laughs> Because I didn't realize it, but like, because you can go and make your own pl- set playlist. Like, you can, like, say you unlock a venue, mm-hmm. and like, you know, say it pops up and it's like, you know, gives you songs like Bob Dylan and mm-hmm. and something like that. You know, something really, really crappy. Yeah. You can. Well, there's options at the at the bottom of almost all of them. You know, that say like make your own set list, and it's like two or three songs, and you can do that, and that still goes towards your your stars, like your stars or whatever. Mm-hmm. score and your re- regular score so you don't have to play those songs you can just play ones you've downloaded or whatever else oh. towards your towards your campaign or whatever you want to call it your yeah. career I didn't know I wasn't sure if you had to play those songs or what but yeah I knew you could make a set list I just didn't know it, it had stars or nothing by it you know yeah I mean I think it pretty much so far it has I mean it's it's worked been worked for me so I'm like hell no I'm, I'm just making my own basically just making my own playlist and been working through a little bit of that which is way better than like, because half the time it pops up and I'm like, there'd be like a list of like three songs, you know, for, that I've newly un- unlocked or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm like, halfway want to play even one of them. And I'm like, eh. yeah, I don't want to play any of this crap. I, I want to play some Eminem. Yeah, right. yeah, really. Yeah. Can I get some 50 Cent up in this game? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll just pick some Pearl Jam and, and rock out till the break of dawn. Yeah, yeah. Rock out over here. E three over here. <laughs> um. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. But then I bought uh, Guitar Hero Metallica, and I have yet to play it. So. Oh, good, good job, good purchase. Well, it was on sale. It was at Target for like thirty-seven dollars, and I was like, "Oh snap!" That's a lot. Yeah, well, it's normally sixty. Yeah, but still, I don't pick up games till they're like twenty. Yeah, I thought it was a good deal, and I've been wanting it, and I sold some games, and, you know, it had some money in my in my PayPal. Ah, uh, I see. So, um... I understand. So since I didn't uh, buy Wolverine, that's what that's what that money was. You know, when I sold those games, that's what I was going to buy for. So I thought, well, I'll buy this instead, and everybody wins. And by, and by everybody, I mean me. <laughs> everybody, uh, not you, me. <laughs> well, y'all, y'all guys can play, uh... Guitar Hero. Y'all have World Tour, too. So. Yeah! <laughs> Y'all play that so much, too, huh? Uh, yeah! <laughs> no, but I gotta... I was gonna tell you, you know, that mo- new movie Drag Me to Hell came out? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and this guy... I, I, he's on my friend list, but I just got a random message from him, and he's like, Message to all friends. I went and saw Drag Me to Hell, and it was awful. Halfway, I couldn't even get through it. And halfway through, I had to go out and smoke a doobie. And then I came back in, and it was bearable. <laughs> and like, that was the end of the message. I was like, who are you? And why do I need to know that? <laughs> TMI. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I didn't plan on seeing it anyway, but thanks for the warning, buddy. 
<laughs> High class, sir, my friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, that movie was last on my list of movies that I would want to see. Well, actually, Up is last on my list of movies that I possibly wouldn't want to see ever. I know. Right there with Night at the Museum 2 and uh, <laughs> um, uh, Bride Wars. No, I don't know. Yeah, I heard that was awful. But, yeah, it's like Up. Yeah, and then I went to Walmart and it was like, new video game release, Up. And I'm like, oh, down. <laughs> yeah, I give up a two thumbs down with a twist. But yeah, it's just, I'm just like, really? Uh, Pixar, please stop. Please stop now. Please stop making the game to go with the movie now. Please stop all your stupid, idiotic crap. And 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 by the way, um, The Incredibles, yeah, Marvel did that like 20 years ago with the Fantastic Four. Go die. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? Oh. I mean, it's just total rip-off crap. They rip off everything. Wally ripped off Idiocracy. It's just, they're just r- scam rip-off artists, idiots, stupid. I read Cheddar, it. cheddar cheese car wash. <laughs> I read it in OXM. They, they, had, uh, they do the reviews of the games. And this game literally got a one. I saw that. Yeah, it was at Leisure Suit Larry Box Office oh. Smash. There was, an, there was another one I saw that got a one. It was like um, some Ready to Rumble or some punch in, or like a, a boxing game for the Wii. They got a one too. I think I saw that. I haven't seen the, the one you're talking about. Yeah, this is always him. And I mean, evidently, this is the lowest rating that they've ever given. It's like the worst game yeah. that's been made, known to man, right up there with like Bomberman Act Zero and. Um, I would say Space Giraffe, but that wasn't on the list. But, you know, it was, I mean, it it got a one. And it was like, you know, it was like, okay, right. It it sounded like Animal Crossing to me. It's like, run and go do this errand and then bring it back and talk to me. And then run and go do this. You know, and I was like, I've done that before. (laughs) It may be Game Informer that I'm thinking of what what I saw the one in, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. This this is OXM, you know, because they didn't have any Wii games or nothing. But OXM? Yeah. No, it's pretty funny when they get like a, a one, you know. Yeah, and, uh, like, that, how is that even made? I mean, why? How are you even making money off of that? You know, it's a full title game. I think it was like yeah. sixty bucks. You know, it's like, how is that possible? I'm sure some people will buy it. That just, I mean, I'm sure it won't be a lot. But you, but what what kills me is, you know, they'll probably sell a couple hundred thousand copies. You know, and then it'll end up in a bargain bin somewhere. So I'll buy it for a dollar. Yeah, you know, I mean, it'll it'll be uh, at GameStop, you know, for five ninety nine or something at some point. I know, and it's just like, they, they said it wasn't even easy achievements or anything like that. I'm like, I need a game, my goal for the end of the year is to be at 40000 So I don't know if I'll make it, but I'm hoping to. I need to get some easier games where I can just kind of blow through them, like, maybe I'll rent up. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, my gamer score will go up with up. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the whole point. That's what that's all it is. It's like Avatar, you know. It's just, yeah. it just like go up. <laughs> it's like a thousand yeah. points unlocked. All you, do, all you do is punch it, in, put it in, and hit the start button. Achievement unlocked. One thousand gamer score. Yeah. Now take this some bitch back. <laughs> yeah. Now throw this in the garbage. <laughs> Disposable disc for the win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know what else you want to talk about. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What do we have on our list here? Do you want to talk about that Tony Hawk game, or, or do you want to? Um, Let's we'll start. Let's start at the top. We still wanted to talk about E3 um, yeah. a little bit, if you want to. Just well, let's, let's just let's just do this real quick, because I know you know most people in in shows talk about you know, their predictions or whatever. What like? What would you like to see? Like, do you have any ideas of, like, what you would like to see happen as opposed to, like, predictions? Oh, this is going to happen. What would you like them to do? In E3? Yeah, like, what would you like when, when Microsoft are, and Sony and Nintendo and probably mo- mostly Microsoft for you, um, you know, when it's all said and done, you know, what what would you like to have, to, you know, a certain game you think you would like to see them announce or, or you know, a peripheral or uh, you want to see them make major changes to... Uh, the Xbox Live. Go. Well, I don't. I don't really see any problems with Xbox Live right now. I I saw that they were gonna have a um a demo of that one versus one hundred that I think will be pretty good. Um, I'd like to see them uh destroy any Hasbro uh, Family Night games and uh, burn them to the ground. I. Uh, 
<clears throat> there's some games that I really just would like love to see right now because kind of like, well, you had Wolverine and you you know you had me at hello with Wolverine, <laughs> yeah. and so you know, I mean, I got my zombie games, two of them, which are really good. You know, I got my hack and slash. I got. I don't know. I got my Viva Pinata. I'd like to see Viva Pinata 3. Um, I'd like to see another Tomb Raider game. Uh, I don't know. Well, uh, then let's let's try this then. Ooh, we'll uh, we'll mix this up. Better avatars. Yeah, more uh, more avatars. Oh, yeah. Lower the price of an Xbox and fix yeah. Xboxes that are broken. For for real though. <laughs> and support Congress, you know. <laughs> yeah, send Jay Allard to my house. Um <laughs> But, okay, so let's do it this way then, like, so they're supposed to announce supposedly the motion control, like, this camera that detects your motions, your full range of motion, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I hear nothing about that, because I tried to play Totem Ball, and that was, like, the worst yeah. game ever. I agree. Um, that's what, and that's what my, what my question was. I mean, do you think, <laughs> like, I mean, will that be, would like, if it comes out, and let's say it's, like, I'm, I'm gonna, we'll just go ahead and say it's... Uh, forty dollars maybe, um, and it includes like a like a Wii Sports type bundle type thing, you know, just just because, um, no interest whatsoever. It would have to be better than I mean, I would have to be able to like use my controls too if I wanted to, you know. It's like I I mean I didn't even play Wii Sports because it was just a I, just a kick in the pants, you know. It's just like I don't, I I I don't like it. That was actually one of the mini games, kicking the pants. You just put the Wiimote on your foot and you kick somebody in the ass. <laughs> I, I, you know, those games just don't really interest me all that much. It's just kind of like, what else can you buy from me that can make life worse for you? You know, and it's just like, <clears throat> I don't know if you ever saw that thing. It's like we, uh, we for women. It was like a we controller vacuum and like a, oh, yeah. uh, you know, we controller, you know, mop and. You know, different stuff like that, a yeah. skillet, you know, and everything. And, uh. The, the Wii breakfast, that was funny too, and they were making, you know, breakfast, and it had, like, all the different, uh, peripherals for, like, had a box of cereal and different stuff. It was yeah. really funny. Yeah, they were making breakfast. This is awesome. I'm yeah. so hungry. <laughs> but, um. Oh, you burnt the toast, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it was, uh. I don't know, nothing. I don't know if anything they could do would really, like, wow me. I mean, yeah. the data pad is pretty much these 10 of what i like you know yeah i agree i mean and i think like even like the uh was that uh seen it st- type stuff you yeah. know i mean that's kind of the as far as i personally think it needs to go i mean obviously nintendo's had a ton of success with all the peripherals and all the rock band stuff i mean mm-hmm. people are obviously willing to buy this stuff um yeah. but i i just don't see it i just don't, i just don't see doing I it i would rather have like a great game mm-hmm. than like extra crap laying around, because, like, all my rock band stuff gets just shoved behind the TV, you know, it's like, and that's cool, you know, I like being able to rock out and stuff, but then again, you know, I would be just as content, I mean, that's what they made the controller for, you know, to play, I mean, you know, like, what do we see, uh, no exam, they had a fishing game, it came with the, it was just pretty much like a stick, and with buttons on it for the Wii, uh, not the, it's not a Wii, it was for the Xbox 360, um, yeah. you know, a uh, fishing rod for the Xbox 360, you know, so I guess, I don't know why, if it's not motion controlled, but, you know, it's kind of like what a Wii mode is. They even had the, like, fishing rod, uh, controller thing for, like, the Dreamcast, I don't know if you remember that, you know, a long time ago, so. The only thing I would like to see from them would be, like, an actual gun, you know, I mean, that would be cool if you had, had a shooter and you actually had your controller was a gun. I mean, that would be sweet. You know, two pistols yeah. for Zoe or, you know, a pipe bomb or oh, yeah. a flame, you know, a Molotov with a little, you know, a little, uh, I don't know, it's like glass on the top. You know, it looks like it's flaming. You turn on it and, and it glows, you know. Or it could just be, you know, <laughs> something. Because <laughs> then how many cords do you want coming out of your Xbox? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. No, no. You know, I, no but, that, but I do think that's a... Um, I Interesting. I do think it's a good idea. There, there aren't any. It'd be tiny though. I mean, but and when wireless, but I thought it'd be funny. It's funny, you know, like little bottle of pills. You you, you twist it, yeah. you know, to use it, and it's like ah, yeah. pills in my belly. Well, I, that is interesting that you bring that up, and I haven't thought about that. Is like, you know, like remember Dreamcast? I have a light gun for my Dreamcast. I have, yeah. you know, the Nintendo has a light gun. I mean, obviously the Wii is essentially the Wii Mode is a light gun. You but, know, no, they have the attachment. That you hook onto your 
thing and it makes it look like a gun. Your Wiimote? Yeah. No, I know, but what I'm saying is that the, the Xbox doesn't have anything uh, equivalent to that. They don't have the, the quote-unquote light gun, which I know the Wiimote isn't technically a light gun the way the NES or anything else was. But, I mean, the Xbox hasn't even, you know, come close to even trying that, you know. And it seems like, well, that is one, one of those kind of things where you kind of, I hadn't really thought about it, but I kind of think it'd be kind of cool. I kind of liked, I remember playing House of the Dead on the Dreamcast with my light gun, and I, I, I I always had fun with that, you know. It's something that we haven't seen except for the Wii um, in this generation. Yeah, I think it would be neat. You know, you could have different ones. Are they here? And, uh, you know, you could have different things, you know, like, you know, maybe have, like, a pistol or, uh, you know, and they all do basically the same thing, you know, but, you know, it it would be neat. Mm -hmm. I think it would be cool because, I mean, I know even, like, the PS2 had, like, a, I can't remember what it was called, like, a scope something, um... But it looked like a like a six shooter uh, gun or whatever, and I think they even had that. But you know, we just haven't seen that on this generation yet. So um, you know, I think they come out. You know, of course, it could be black or white or you know your, your character or the gun <laughs> or pink, uh, you know, and stuff like that. Um, and it'd be cool. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. You know, of course, package the gun with with the game and and right. done and done. Yeah, because, I mean, they're packaging and so much other stuff with everything else now, you know. It's like, okay, if I'm going to buy, you know, all these little controllers to play a trivia game, you know, I'd, I'd buy a little gun. That'd be cool for me, you know, with the little X and, you know, the, maybe, like, the triggers on the actual trigger in the top and then, like, an X and the Y on the sides and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's uh, definitely something that I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to see come back. So, interesting. That's good. Good uh, thinking, and especially when you think about like you know, all the different peripherals, like say for instance the Tony Hawk thing yeah. that's coming out for one hundred twenty dollars um, for the skateboard and the game. You know, yeah. what do you think about all that? Like it right. seems to me kind of. I mean, I know they have to charge uh, uh, for this kind of stuff, yeah. but but still one hundred. You know, one hundred twenty bucks. It seems like a lot for a one player game. Right. I mean. I'm sure you can play multiplayer online, maybe, or something like that. But, I mean, Rockman, you, you could see the point of it because you get your friends over and there's four people and it's a multiplayer game. But a one-player game, 120 bucks for I mean, Tony Hawk series is really popular, though. So, I mean, you know, the only thing I'm worried about is, like, you know, we fit a sturdy, sturdy thing like that. What are they going to be doing? Jumping on this board and it's snapping in half and yeah. splintering through your leg and all that stuff, you know? It's like. Because it's made of wood. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean, think about it, you know, stuff flying everywhere, but I don't know how that. I mean, if they stand on it or if it's more like a mat where they kind of push their foot over to the side, you know, or is it just a, a seesaw with yeah. electronics on it, you know? Oh, I'm going real fast. I'm yeah. flipping. You know, how do you flip? You know, do you yeah, I don't, I mean, switch like that? I mean, I. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. Dangerous. Yeah, no, I, I think so because I mean, like, the, even with the Wii Fit Balance Board, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things where, um, you know, it's only so big, you know, and if you step off or do anything, or, or if you fall over, you know, coffee table to the forehead, then that, you're done, you know. <laughs> you no, know, no, uh, coffee table to the neck, and uh, what is that million dollar baby? <laughs> yeah, yeah, snap. Or, oh, yeah. no. Amputate my legs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, well, what does my name mean? It means, it means lesbian. It means dumbass. <laughs> I mean, stop playing video games. You're, you're 45 years old. <laughs> hey, I'm not either. Um, so anyway, so, yeah, I think that's, you know, the, I think peripherals are going to be a big thing at E3 again, as usual, and I think... And both Sony and Microsoft are probably going to announce something big as far as that goes. Like, and uh, but I don't really care. Like, I don't like you said. I don't really care about the motion control cameras and stuff or anything like that. I don't. I didn't really. It didn't it didn't grab me with the Wii? I don't see that it's going to you know do anything for me on the yeah. 360. I, you know, it's just like give me a gamepad. And let me shoot some stuff. I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd rather have content where I could sit there so long. Because, I mean, unless... I mean, I don't, I don't see a controller making me sit at the thing unless it, like, straps my legs in, you know. But it's like the the data on the disc isn't attractive. It's just a round piece of plastic or whatever. But that's what's going to keep me... 
in my chair, buying a sequel, you know, renting it, all that stuff. I can't go to, you know, I can't rent a peripheral off of Gamefly. I can't go to Blockbuster and say, hey, let me try out that gun, you know, uh, let me try out that pipe bomb, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. You know? No, that's a really good point. You know, I, I just, I can't, I can't get all that from the store. It's a, it's a big price commitment, you know, it's just plunk down for all that stuff, so... No, I definitely agree, and that's a really good point, and that's one thing, um, before I got into Guitar Hero and Rock Band, it was that, you know, that's the barrier of entry, and, and the only reason I, I uh, even, you know, jumped into the Guitar Hero thing is because I got, you know, like one year, I think it was like a Black Friday deal, where I got Guitar Hero 2 for like a really good price, and I was like, well, you know, I, I, I can't afford to spend the, the regular price on it, but, you know, this is a lot better, and, and then, of course... Once you know, once you understand, because I didn't, ha- I had no idea if I'd even be good at it or like it, you know. But I, you, you, like you said, I can't game fly a guitar, right. so yeah. I mean, I can, there was no way to to try it out. And of course, nobody I knew had it because you know, you're you're, you're the only person I know. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't speaking to you for three years. Yeah, no. <laughs> even though you had nineteen guitars, so. Uh, um but yeah, so I mean, you, you know, the barrier of entry is just like the Tony Hawk thing. I'm not going to bust in on day one and be like, Tony Hawk for the win! Oh, skate, 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 mofo. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, this is awesome, and, and just, and just, you know, both feet straight into something yeah. that's never been even tried before. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no way. And the same thing with the, with the camera. And that's the problem with this whole, with the whole peripheral thing. Anyway, if they. They, if they make the motion control camera, and then nobody makes games for it, yeah. then it's crap. You know what I mean? And then you're stuck with, like, Totem Ball. You know, that, and that's essentially what happened with with the, that camera. Yeah, and I would yeah. love to see them do more with the Xbox camera. Yeah, because all I get from that is, like, play Totem Ball, or, like, Uno is really one of the games that utilize that. Or uh, some guy randomly messaged me, got cam. Got cam, yeah. and I'm like, no. I mean, I do, but I'm not gonna, you know. Oh, 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 hi, how are you? I'm a girl, you know. Yeah. You're a boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> look at us, sir. <laughs> Rag and <my> roll. <laughs> yeah, because that's the most. The most I use my camera is I'll take pictures and send them to you, and that's it. <laughs> I know, and I'm like, he still uses it. <laughs> and I'm like, what does that do? What does that round thing on my TV do? Anyway, <laughs> I know his mom came over, or whatever, and she's like. What are all these things on the thing? I'm like, well, that's an Xbox camera, and that's a Wii sensor bar, and that's a Wii Speak, mm-hmm. and I don't use any of them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all this crap that you you know you put on top, around your TV and top of your TV, whatever. <laughs> and it's like, but what I use a controller because you yeah. know what? That's what everything's made for. That's just what it should be. It should just be like, okay, well, here's a camera, uh, or AKA TV decoration, you know? It's just like, they should make them beautiful. So when you put them up there, it's like, oh, I don't have no idea that's a camera, but it's gorgeous, yeah. you know? So I'm going to buy it, but... Yeah, a little snap-on, like, like flower petals or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> flower petals over here. Yeah, really. Is that a camera or a... Or in its spray in the face. Oh, God. <laughs> Best prank ever. Yeah. $69.99. Awesome. <laughs> Sold. I just don't know how to put refill. Or I just don't know how to refill my Xbox uh, with a uh, flower petal water. <laughs> <laughs> Lamest proof you'll ever. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> like if she meant gotcha. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> how would they know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is good about it, I like, I know, like in Burnout Paradise, if you have it on a 360, like supposedly, well, obviously you can take a picture for your license, which is like. Whoop de damn do. Yeah. But also too, like supposedly if you crash somebody like if you if you take somebody down in the game online, if they have a camera it'll take a snapshot of them like at the moment of crash, like so you can see their face, which I'm I'm assuming is the exact same face that they make the entire rest of the time they're playing the game, which is just you know I know you can't see this, but still yeah. it's just like you know, it's just regular face. It's not like they're sitting there, you know, the the yeah. I felt like they're mangled. Like, if they were mangled, I'd be like, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> if, if their Xbox set them on fire, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. I did that, you know. It's not like, yeah, it's not like somebody walks in and punches them in the face at that at that exact moment, just, to, you know, or something like that. I mean, they're just sitting there playing the game. It's the same thing with, like, I think Command & Conquer tried to do that. 
um, with the camera. Like when you oh, yeah, defeated yeah, yeah. somebody, you know, or you when you defeated somebody, then if you had the cam, it would show them your cam, and you had like five seconds to do like a little victory <laughs> dance, you know, or some something stupid like that. And it's like it, it's a neat idea, but. Yeah. Never would it, you know, it's just, no, you know. How many people really do that? Like, on Uno, like, I only see, like, one person, like, ever, like, use their cam, you know. And I'm like, oh. And half, oh like- and half the time it's just pointed at an empty chair or the cats or something like that, you know. <laughs> I'm too ashamed to show my idiot's face, even though I bought this yeah. camera. It's just, or it's pointing at their leg, you know, because yeah. they have it on the floor and they don't even know that, you know what I mean? It's just like, why? Oh, Viva Pinata did use, utilize that, though, in a pretty good way because it did take pictures of that, um, of the card. But, oh, my God, I never could get it to work i was like take the darn picture you know because it had to like read the barcode on the side and it would like never read oh too dark too light you know and i'm like i'm like just just read it how hard is this and evidently you could if your computer was close enough to your xbox you could just drag it together and then just take pictures of all the things that people had posted online so you unlocked them all you know and i was like well that'd be all right if they weren't you know 15 feet away, but I can't quite drag it all together. I'm going to need a longer cord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need some assistance over here. <laughs> you grab the monitor, I'll grab the camera, we'll, or we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> we just smash everything. We're running towards each other, and then, like, you know, you just get yanked back by the cords, like, two feet away from each other. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, broken monitor and broken camera. The cheap and unlocked. <laughs> broken soul. <Yeah. laughs> that just that That just cost me $30,000. <laughs> I don't know why I have such expensive monitors. No, I got this expensive damn monitor and camera. Yeah, I don't know. I, I buy the best. What can I say? That's why it breaks so easily. <laughs> and I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, um, I guess uh, we about done over here. I'm done over here. We gotta save. I don't know what we're saving for, but we gotta go help with that storm dog. We gotta go make brats and hot dogs and drink beer. For shizzo and maybe some guitar hero Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get too excited there. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'll meet you over there. All right, over here. So, um, all right, well, that's in. That's going to be this episode for this week. Um, I don't think we're numbering them anymore. We're just going to start giving them names, you know? Oh, well, technically it's episode number six, but this is the over here episode. Is, is that what we're going to call it? No, I don't know. It just came out, out of my head over here. Yeah. How about, how about making it, giving it a name over here? <laughs> name this podcast here. How about maybe like the peripheral episode or something? I mean, I don't know. That seems kind of dull. <laughs> this this show yeah. is the peripheral episode. How about, how about the dull episode? Uh? How about the started off kind of wish-washy show and then got pretty good at the end show? Yeah, if you stuck past the stand-up... Wait, in the if you stuck to it past the stand-up part show, then thanks, and it got better show. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the uh, wait till the end show. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> the the thousand sending points if you made it this far show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a thousand sending points if you made it this far over here. If you take appeals over here. Yeah, so send us an email and say, I got a thousand points, ass. <laughs> Face. <laughs> but if you, uh, if you can think of anything else that you would like to see on E3, or if you would like to, uh, anything that you would like to see made into a peripheral, then you can Twitter me, uh, I'm Phoenix8424, or you can send me an email, Phoenix8424 at gmail.com. You can always visit us and leave us nice little tidbits and comments on the www.theuncannygamers.com or you can also email you at geminiace at gmail.com and uh, send me comments over here. And we're always up to play uh, some Left 4 Dead over here with uh, the our emails or our gamer tags. So just lop off at gmail.com and add us on XBL, but don't send me any messages about getting high. And uh, y- you can send me those messages. I'm I'm fine with that. And plus, I have a space in my name, so it's Space Ace. <laughs> space Ace over here. <laughs> I, oh yeah, and if anybody actually uses their camera on their Xbox, let us know. Yeah, and what? Send us a picture of your. Uh, of, of, you, of you, I guess. Well, well, I, that <laughs> faces, faces <laughs> from the neck up. Yeah. <laughs> I have this guy that always sends me pictures, and he's like doing like gang signs, and I'm like, what do I care? Yeah. You know. You know what? Okay, here's what kills me. Let me digress for a second. <laughs> oh no. Well, I get sometimes I get messages like, 
um, either voice messages or picture messages, and you can't mass send a voice or picture message, right? Um, you can mass send a text because you can go on the Xbox Live or, or yeah, Xbox.com. You can mass send voice. Can you? Because yeah, everybody goes, message to all friends. Right, uh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But I don't, oh, well, then, then if that's the case, then I don't know how to do it. Because I always just assume they just rec- they, they go down their friends list and record the same message for each of their friends and do it that way. You know? Not, surely not. Because nobody cares about me that much. I mean, I think they just, they just spam everybody. Message to all friends. If your poop smells, let me know. You know, and I'm just like... I don't care. Stop talking to me. Hey, uh, uh, my poop smells. <laughs> Some guy had sent me a message. He's like, are you so-and-so's girlfriend? I'm like, no. You know, everybody, somebody else that was on my friends list, are you his girlfriend? I'm like, no, I'm just a girl that's his friend. Yeah. Bummer. I just make out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Through cam. Um, yeah, I use my cam a lot. <laughs> but um, but anyway, I, if, if there's a way to... to um, mass message with a picture or, or uh, voice. Somebody pointed out to me because I don't know. There it is over here. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Obvious option over here. <laughs> Even a black man can do it here. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be blind, man? <laughs> I like racism. Yeah. Even a grot seller could do it over here. <laughs> Uh, even a zombie could do that over here. Good times. Okay, well then, uh, that's gonna be it for us this week. Uh, next week might be another solo show. Might be not. Who knows? And then whatever. So, enjoy yourselves. And, uh, yeah, thanks for listening, and we will see y'all either next week or the week after, or who the hell knows when. Yeah, there's a baby over here. <laughs> baby on the way over here with the pills. When the baby comes, we get pills over here. God, I hope so. All right, well, that's uh, that's it for us. We'll uh, talk to y'all later. Peace out. Peace.